Hi, welcome back to the Potter Studio where every week we take on the challenges made famous by the great Canadian pottery throwdown. This week's challenge was handled. Jen, Wait, Jen, no, it's not blindfolded. We, we're not blindfolded anymore? No, no. That was last week. Last week. Okay. <laughs> this week it's handled. Uh, and on the show they did a very timed challenge. How many handles can you throw? Uh, can you pull on your pieces? And we decided that was kind of boring. Yeah, because we're a pretty creative lot here, so we thought we would kind of mix it up and let our potters just live their best creative lives and make whatever they want. So we have wheel throwers and hand builders that are each going to make very unique creations, and we'll see how it turns out. 20 minutes, on your mark, set, handle. Hi, I'm Kim. I started at, as a student at the Potter Studio about 20 years ago and have gone on to become a member. Um, mainly a hand builder because I like to play around with textures and I like to build things. So today I am going to be doing a hand built handle. It'll be rolled around a dowel and have some texture on it and then we hope it hangs together and uh, looks good. Rolled around the dowel. That's it. Hi, I'm Terry. And I've been here for about the same amount of time as Kim, but took a few years off to work. And I do all hand building. And today I'm going to be doing, I like natural forms. I'm going to do branches and leaves and things like that for my hand. Hi everyone, my name is Jess. Um, I have been potting in total for about two years or so. Um, I'm with the Potter Studio for a little less than a year. Um, I have done hand building and throwing, but today I'm actually making something I've never tried before, so let's see how it goes. Hi, I'm Lindsay. Uh, I'm stressed. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, oh, I'm the teacher here. Uh, I do weird stuff. I've started moving into more of like a fantasy kind of stuff. Like I make like little mini libraries and everything, and I do like production work mostly. I do shows. I weird teapots and things and I don't know, I'm so far. Hi, I'm Jen, uh, back again for another week. Um, I'm a wheel thrower, but and I usually do pull handles when I make mugs, but today I'm going to mix it up and do a pull handle that I'm going to alter as well, so we'll see how it turns out. Never done this before. Uh, hi, I'm Sabine. I'm a potter, hobby potter for the last 20 years. I generally don't think, I just do it. Uh, I don't question myself, that's all. Um, and I throw mostly, but I like to handle as well. So I do a little bit of everything. So we'll see how it goes.
here come the judge. Here come the judge. Here come the judge. <laughs> It was kind of, if you look from the back, it's kind of a tail, which is made with a Tim Hortons fork, which I oh, thought was appropriate no. for a bug. Oh, okay. And it looks like a bit of a scampy tail to me, so oh, to yeah. me it was kind of like a creature. It's like a, a sea hug. creature it's coming like a hug. around. Yeah. It does yeah. look like yeah. a scarf. Nice. I thought it kind of looked like a scarf. Yeah. Like a nice like yeah. A scarf. Yeah. Nice hug. It's got that shirt. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. And this one, you're, are you a gardener? I am. <laughs> Very genius. Tell us a little bit about yours. Tell us a little bit about yours. Um, okay, got a calla lily and some kind of a daisy like flower. Okay. And just yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. Bubbles. I was thinking about maybe you can. I don't know, adding into like glazing, I was thinking just it's fun. Yeah, so it's something. I like the way the bubbles decrease. Sure. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, but still maintaining the handle part. Yeah. Very nice. But in other in terms of other decoration, I would recommend a few other bubbles around mm -hmm. it just to, to pull it together. Yeah. yeah. I like the minimal. I prefer minimal. this. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. It gives a focus to it. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I grew up, um, yeah, I grew up visiting like the Bahamas a lot and it was a huge impact so a lot of my bigger pieces at home have like big pieces of coral reef on them and stuff so I decided to do what I know and it's a little, yeah. a little turtle <laughs> here yeah. Yeah. stingray yeah. and the turtle yeah. and the reef oh. the yeah. coral yeah. reef very nice so I use real pieces of coral that I found when I went wow. down there to help with the texture mm -hmm. and uh, a oh, sipping mesh to help find like oh, the nice. anemone and everything very nice. And this is, what's the theme behind this? Uh, well, it's a treat. Mm -hmm. uh, I, yes. wanted, Thank you. I wanted to do something that was, yeah, it's, it's going for a drink because clearly <laughs> it needs to get some leaves. No, I wanted to do something three-dimensional and try and wrap it as much as I could and to go into the inside for a little bit of extra. Very pieces. nice. Very well thought out. I originally thought you were doing a hand. Well, it started to look like a rack, like a deer at first. Oh, yeah. Then I thought, no, 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 no. Okay, it will be it a will tree. Be a tree. <laughs> what about this one? Spring. Spring. Oh, I see uh, flowers. That's all. Just spring. Okay, spring. Yeah. All right. So we'll just step back for a minute and have a little powwow. Just one. So I think the ones that look like that one. Yes. So, yeah, but I, I'm not. I'm not gonna pick a winner. She said, pick. You know, two. There's no winner and no loser. Uh, there, there, there are no particular order. Okay. Yeah. So we're just gonna gather them together. So this is the first one. Okay. This is the second one. Okay. This is the third one. Okay. And this is the fourth one. Okay. The bubble. The I'm gonna call it coral water scene, a beach scene, and these are the top three. And then the next <laughs> one. <laughs> nice catch, girl. <laughs> so, these are the mugs uh, that our potters all created. The handles. You can see there's a variety of styles and techniques that they used in a bunch of different mugs. So, the extra good news is that we are going to finish glazing and clean up all of these pieces, and they're going to be available for sale at our spring studio sale, which is coming up in April. Um, the proceeds from these sales are going to go to our charity that we support, which is Feed Scarborough. So you can get all the information you need at our website, which is thepotterstudio.ca. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel.